I'm Canadian artist Roxanne Jervis. I have been commissioned to do a painting by Artisan Bakery which makes the most amazing bread. My kids will tease me about it because I'm always talking about Artisan Bakery and when I was in Stratford it was Breadworks. Anyhow, what I've done is I've painted the back canvas in a bright orange acrylic and then I've drawn on the windows and whatnot. And what I'm doing now is I'm taking burnt sienna and I'm putting a layer of paint, not solid, but over top of the orange acrylic underpainting. And this will then end up getting me a nice texture to work with. So this takes a little bit of time. Eventually I did put a little bit of mineral spirits in because I found that the burnt sienna was getting too strong. So I'll let you watch while I paint. If you notice how I'm holding the brush, I'm not very carefully putting an up and down controlled brush stroke on everything I'm doing. I'm just really roughing in the burnt sienna and trying to cover the underpainting. I'm also not being careful to make it a solid color. I'm wanting variation in the in the background so when I actually do the overpainting I will be able to have some variation. What I had done is put an underdrawing on using the water base pencils so I could take water and take the pencil off if I didn't like how it was working. But when I do it with the oil paint in this thin mineral spirit and oil, it will also help to get rid of some of the lines that maybe I didn't really want there over the whole thing. If you're wondering why I'm putting white on the canvas, titanium white will help cover any sort of problems that you might have. I noticed that there were a few dark spots on the very corners and I just put titanium white on and I'll wait for it to dry and after that I'll get on with the actual painting. One of the things I was noticing in this was my windows, even though they're on an angle because of the perspective, these lines must be totally vertical. It doesn't matter what place it is in your painting. Vertical lines for windows and doors are always vertical, unless it's a dilapidated building. You still paint the verticals first and then dilapidate them later. Now what I did here was I have a piece of canvas and it's right angles so I just took it right angles to the top and just put some white paint all the way down the edge on each of these because these frames will be white eventually but you can see now if you do go back and look at the other part that they were slightly tilted this way back and this way this way the other thing is when I paint the bricks I'm going to have to look for my vanishing point on the right side and on the left side in order to get the brick lines on the right angles because they will be wider at the front than they will be back here. The closest corner is always the widest part of anything. So you can see that here, this window top from here to here, it's, it's higher here than down there and also on this side. And the reason for that is the vanishing point. I'm going to have to let this dry now for a day or two. When the blue is not quite so freshly painted, I'll come back and start working on it. I always do the, the furthest thing away first, which is the windows in this case. And then when you paint over top of it, you're not having to get your brush in and around after the fact. So I'll be back in a couple days. Thanks.
Hi, I'm back at this painting again. It's taking me an awful long time to get done because I'm not getting quite the feeling that I want, but today I think I'm ready for it. So let's get going again. This is the dark side of the building and I'm using um, a dry brush with alizarin crimson and a tiny bit of Payne's Gray and just going over parts just to get some of the bricks a bit darker. This side should be lighter because it's in the direct sunlight.
So here is the painting of the Artisan Bakery on Dundas Street by the Western Fair Farmers Market. I hope you like it. Please subscribe and share with your friends and we'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye.